everyone, happy Monday. I'm Kaylee, this is Carly and Colette. And today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we, I feel like that I normally do on a Monday, mm -hmm. but with like Carly being pregnant with a baby <laughs> oh, yeah, and our babies are getting so big. I've just had like babies on the brain mm -hmm. and I thought it would be fun to do 10 random fun facts about babies that oh, you guys fun. might not know. I just think it's so fun to like read these things mm -hmm. and learn more. So I only listed 10. There are so many that you can find and they're so fun to read through. And I'm just going to talk about a few facts about each of the facts that I'm going to talk about. So I'll explain them a little bit. You can definitely Google them and learn more about them, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and then every baby is different. So this might not be how your baby was, but I think that this is just like, you know, fun. just like app on average. So, cause some of these I was like, mm, I don't know if that fit my baby, but anyways. Right. Okay, so the first one is babies don't have kneecaps. It makes sense though, cause like sometimes when they Elliot's don't? doing things, mm -hmm. I'm like not till they're like two or something, cause they have to crawl around on them. That'd be so yeah. damaging. So this is what um, one of the articles said. Um, they have cartilage that resembles a kneecap, mm -hmm. and the cartilage doesn't actually start to develop until the baby is at least six months old. Wow. So that is why if like a baby starts to move around earlier than six months, they like will pull themselves and they won't get up on their knees. Mm -hmm because they don't have anything there. And then around like six months and older, they'll like get up on their hands and knees and crawl around. That's so funny. So, yeah, it's amazing what so the human funny. body like can do. It's yeah. just amazing. So around around ages three to five, areas of hard bo born, bone start to form. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when they start to develop their kneecaps, like the actual bone. That's so funny. And um, it starts to form in irregular patches. And then they are fully formed around 10 to 12 years old. No way. Isn't that so crazy? That well, is mine crazy. are fully formed because I'm 30 and I watch my kids jump around. I'm like, oh, that hurts my knees watching you. And yeah. they're just like <laughs> moving with no, like Elliot's been getting up on his knees like he's praying and uh -huh. like rocking. I'm like, oh, that would be so hurtful yeah. on my knees. That's how yeah. Layla actually like prefers to sit that way on her little <laughs> knees. So and cute. Instead of her little bum. And I think it's the cutest thing. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. That is cute. So anyways, that's a, an interesting fact. Another one is newborns just newborns, do not cry. Babies will scream or howl, but tears cannot be released or created until about three weeks because their tear ducts are not entirely developed. Mm, that's a good point. I learned point. that fast because everyone was saying, oh, his tear, when Elliot had the eye infection, we thought it was a tear duct. And I was like, I didn't know that they didn't have tear ducts. Mm -hmm. yeah. So amazing. Yeah, so they um, create enough moisture in their eyes to keep them healthy, like, because mm -hmm. obviously you need like, Mm -hmm. your eyes to be wet to open and close but um yeah they don't they don't form tears that makes sense and then once they do it's the saddest thing yeah when you like, see a tear you're like oh you're really I sad know, you're really crying so <laughs> another fact is that 80 percent of babies are born with birthmarks they come in many shapes sizes and colors the most common is a stork bite birthmarks occur when a what the, like that's a, what ellie has is a stork bite on yeah his so it's red mark. yeah, yeah. Um, birthmarks occur when the tiny blood vessels under the skin are dilated during labor. Some don't occur until several days or weeks after birth. Oh, that That's would be interesting. interesting where you take your baby home and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you have a birthmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have birthmarks? No. I Not don't. Like, but I Avia, always, my mom always said this was my birthmark, but I don't think it came later on. Avia and Daxon both have little like brownish gray patches mm -hmm. in in different parts on their body, but yeah. those, those are the only two that I know of. Elliot has one on his forehead right here, and then he has one on the back of his neck, on his mm -hmm. like little head, and then one on his little backbone. Mm -hmm. It's like, and they're like, they look like the same stork bite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have like a stork bite right here, uh -huh. and if I like cry or get hot, then it gets red right here, or I always conceal it, because it's a little bit redder right there. But I also have like a birthmark on my knee, on my calf. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. I've never really noticed. And it has like Show us. freckles in it, or moles. Yeah, <laughs> for goals or both. I'll I guess later. Cooper <laughs> has something on his back too where it's like a little discolored like that and I think it was from birth, mm -hmm. like something on his back like that. My kids each have birthmarks too. My little sister when she was born had a birthmark right here on her 
on her head, and I think she had it removed. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Which one? Tasha. Oh. I always thought it was cute, mm-hmm. but it bothered her, so she had it removed. So, yeah, that's... So, um, I think that a lot of times when babies are born with birthmarks, parents are like, oh, but it said, like, it's not an abnormality. It's right. actually very common. Yeah. I was... I, when Elliot came out, I was freaked out a little bit, too. I was like, why is... Because it was really red right when he came out, and I was like, mm-hmm. what is that? Why? Yeah. I remember I looked at Kayla. I was like, is that going to go away? And she was like, it'll be fine, and now I, like, love it, because mm-hmm. I... It's so cute. I had also been in like labor, so I think my mind was just not in the right, right place. Tired. You're like, what is that big red thing? And now I like love it. And it, you can't see it some days. It's mm-hmm. like you said, and if he cries or gets really worked up, then you can really see it. So, yeah. yeah. So when Layla was born and they put her on my chest, all I could see was her skin tag. And I was like, <laughs> what? what is that? <laughs> and Casey was like, what is that? I should have Googled like how many babies have skin tags yeah. because I actually know of a lot of people whose babies have little skin tags I in the never, same place. Yeah, I'd never seen that. And then after Layla, I feel like I knew like five babies yeah. that had them. And I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. And I should have Googled that. I will. Sometimes that can be <laughs> your worst thing when you Google, Google it though. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we had it removed. It was really easy. But. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Okay. Babies laugh 300 times a day. <laughs> is that the cutest oh, thing? That is so cute. That's why they're always like, be like a child and yeah. happy and just like innocent oh, and sweet. Cute. Adults laugh around 60 times a day. And of course this happens only when the baby has learned to laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think I read somewhere that a baby can't really like smile at you until like when they're a little bit older, I think around a month. Mm-hmm. So I always feel like right when my baby's born, I'm like, hi, let me smile. <laughs> but they just haven't learned how to yet. Yeah. yeah. Babies like mom's voices more. That so sense. Yeah. Speaker them. it says babies prefer how many women's babies have voices. They asked? <laughs> you know. Do you really? Babies prefer women's voices to men's voices. And if you notice, most people use higher to- tones of vo- yeah. and their well, that's true. Like their, their baby, baby talk yeah. voice is they higher. Do. Higher tones when they talk to a baby. Even men, even like Casey yeah. will use like this cute little voice when he talks to a baby. <laughs> and I think it's just like babies just like it more. Yeah. And I've also noticed like when you're trying to put your baby to sleep, I, I think like if you talk to them calm in a higher tone voice and they're more likely to doze off. So, mm-hmm. but then I think some babies are different and I always think it's exciting when your baby recognizes their dad's voice yeah. and they like perk up. Yeah, Elliot is a daddy's boy. If I remember talking to Jackson on the phone, he freaks out like he has to FaceTime with him. (laughs) You advance, child. (laughs) Eye color can change. All babies are born with blue eyes. Pigment, Pigment or melanin is not developed at the time of birth. Baby's true eye color becomes apparent after six months. Yeah. If and then this said if both parents have blue eyes, the baby will have blue eyes. Yeah. And I, I, and I was trying to go back to like the, the squares where it was yeah. like, this is more dominant than this. And, but then I was thinking about you and you have Paxton who has blue eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What color eyes does she have? He has like hazel eyes. His mm-hmm. are like more green than blue, aren't they? Or are they like my color? They're like your color. But yeah. they're dark. Yeah. Are they? I was they're a little yeah. bit darker than that. But, okay. But it's just like a mix. Yeah. Okay. And like mine were always really brown until I got older and now they're like greenish brown. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we always thought that Emmy would have blue eyes because hers looked, you know, babies, they all have blue eyes. They're like a bluish yeah. gray. Yeah. Um, but hers looked more blue than the other kids, so we thought she'd have blue eyes, but she has brown eyes. And then Daxon's mm-hmm. were for sure blue. It's yeah. cute. I love, I love it. That. I was always like, maybe my I could get one with brown eyes, but there's no way. There's way too many people who have blue. But yeah. Well, well I was super family. surprised that I got a blue eyed baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, blue eyed blonde hair baby. I thought that the brown would be super dominant, but. Yeah. My mom has brown and my dad has blue, and I'm the only one with blue eyes. Mm. And then I saw somewhere that blue eyes are actually the most common. Really? Mm-hmm. So you're more rare. I love the blue. I love the brown too. Yeah. <laughs> I love all the things. I, I love all my children and their eyes. <laughs> and this is so funny because I love this about babies, and I always notice this, and it makes me laugh so hard. A baby's body is out of proportion. <laughs> totally. The head <laughs> makes up a quarter of the baby's length. And the brain is 10% of your baby's total weight. The rest of the body grows to catch up over time. Mm -hmm. And also, this is something I know me and you laugh about, like a baby's arms don't reach over their heads. So they're like this. One time I had to get an outpatient procedure where I was getting a mole cut off and I was like having crazy anxiety about it. And so 
Jackson couldn't take care of me, like, or come pick me up, and I couldn't drive because I was on anesthesia, so anesthesia, whatever. Jackson's mom had to come and get me, and that's the first thing I said to her. I said, Sin, lift up your arms. I said, look, they're taller than your head. And she was like, yeah, Carly. I was like, baby's arms don't do that. Why not? And she said, that's all I talked about for the whole ride is how baby's arms would not go above their head. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that. Like, yeah. babies are so cute. So and I love how their little bodies are, like, out of proportion. Uh, this one is babies really do grow so fast. I think that we say that all the time, like my yeah. oh, baby's growing so fast, but they really do. A newborn within a couple of days, it's yeah. just a newborn changes so it's much. It's so crazy. So a newborn baby triples its weight by 12 months. Jeez. Between the birth and the end of the second year, a baby has quadrupled in size. Mm -hmm. At six months, babies have doubled their weight. And if they, they obviously slow down over time. This yeah. is just like within the first two years that they grow so rapidly, and especially that first year. If they continue to grow at this rate, they'd weigh over a thousand pounds by age five. <laughs> I was thinking, can you imagine if that growth spurt continued? We'd all be like Neanderthals, yeah. like, Whoa. It's so large. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. And that's why you have to buy so many clothes for babies. Yeah, yeah. see, they're growing out of them. See, yep. husbands. So I was shopped so much. <laughs> Our producer was shaking his head like, oh, oh not. <laughs> all the baby clothes. Yeah. But that's why, like, you hear parents say it all the time, and I feel like I say it all the time, too. Like, yeah. my baby's growing so fast. Yep. Holy cow, they do grow really? so fast. They do. Yep. Babies are born with 300 bones. Adults have 206 bones. And, mm -hmm. and this happens because, like, a they baby's, fuse together. yeah, they fuse together over time. Like, even just the skull alone yeah, has heck. to fit through the... A birth canal so mm -hmm. you know it squishes together and then over time those bones like fuse together and that's sometimes the I wish it would squish a little tighter <laughs> it's really tight <laughs> it hurts <laughs> a little tighter that's so interesting it's like funny how it all it all just works I yeah. know it is you know it's, so it's like such a beautiful miracle the anatomy of a of a a body if a human body is incredible even like growing a baby like mm -hmm. I still follow my apps and what's developing and I'm like it's crazy to me, like heart valves start forming at week four or five inside your belly and people so don't wild. even consider it a life at that point. I'm like, it has heart valves. Like mm -hmm. that's pretty much has a life if it has heart mm -hmm. valves, you know, like, mm -hmm. and then the spinal cord comes like right after that. And it's crazy what it's our bodies, amazing how it can grow. Yeah. And they just know how to do that. And their heads know how to shrink and grow mm -hmm. and fuse and it's insane. So mm -hmm. cool. Okay, this is the last one for today. Like I said, there are so many. Look them up. They're really fun. <laughs> a newborn's hair changes within six months. And these changes can be their color. It can go from like blonde to red. It can go from lighter to darker. Mm -hmm. um, curls might disappear. Like your baby might have really curly hair when it's born and then it goes straight or the opposite. It can get curls obviously too when it starts growing more. Mm -hmm. um, or your baby's hair might all just fall out. Oh. And that happens a lot. That was another one that's really that was common that was in the facts is that a lot of babies', babies hair, hairs fall out. Yeah. Or they like rub little patches. Elliot just had like a patch down the middle of his head. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just like right here. Just mm -hmm. this patch, like old bad patch. And I was like, oh, and then it all started filling in. Cause I was like, what if that falls out and then that rubs off? And it's just like, <laughs> you know how they have that circle patch on the back of their head? Mm -hmm. But it all worked out. Yeah. That's so fun. so fun. Anyways, I just thought this would be fun since babies we have babies are on the brain that we would do some fun facts. So yeah, I didn't even know some of those. I know. So. I was yeah, surprised yeah. too. So. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.